All we have done was help the police. But police ordered this place closed for a year under Baltimore City's padlock law. It allows us to possibly close a business if there's two or more acts of violence that occur within that business within a two-year period. The owners say they've paid thousands of dollars to secure their property. Under the law, it is their responsibility. If they didn't do it, the city would, and then send them a bill. Police declared this a public nuisance in November 2017, citing community complaints and a half a dozen incidents all on the gas station's property, including a fatal shooting, juveniles beating and robbing two people, an armed carjacking, and an armed robbery at an ATM. We don't want to close a business. We're not in the, we're not in the business of closing down business. We much rather have a business cooperate. Lieutenant Colonel Rich Worley says the location became so violent for a time they had an officer in a patrol car on the property 24 hours a day. The owners say they assisted police to help fight crime. Everyone's job to prevent the crime from happening, but we can make arrests. We can't do any of that. That's not our job. They also say criminals use threats and intimidation to make their workers fearful. They did express that. We don't want them to go out and confront the, the criminal element that's on their property. That's our job. City police say they know this is a tough location. They suggested security improvements. The owners did install security cameras, gave officers surveillance video, and called 911 to report crimes. But police wanted a security plan and more. Having private security had given us access to their cameras pre-incident. And according to police, it all came down to the last resort, closing and padlocking the gas station. They say under the current and last three police commissioners, the padlock law has been used eight times. Reporting live from Northwest Baltimore, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV 11 News. Barry, thank you.